Steve here. Wilderness 333. And if you're seeing the coals looking pretty hot, that means it's about time to get going with the Dutch oven. I've had a lot of requests for more Dutch oven, so I'm gonna I'm gonna do one and <laughs> this one I've never tried before, but I've wanted to do it for a long time. I've just been insanely busy, so what we're making tonight is sopapillas in the Dutch oven. I've just been loving the mix of honey with bread lately, so we're going for sopapillas. But I'm going to need my wife's help on this one, so we're going to go watch the dough be made, and uh, then I'll come out and cook it. So we're making the dough. Um, we're following a recipe from allrecipes.com. I'll annotate it on the bottom. But it's simple. It's got flour, salt, baking soda, water, baking and some powder. baking powder. A cup of flour, a teaspoon of baking powder, half a teaspoon of salt, can never get these open because I bite my fingernails. Okay, and then one tablespoon of shortening. One tablespoon of shortening. And we're just throwing it in the food processor because it's fast and easy. You can do it by hand. You just got to mix like with a fork. Maybe right. a whisk would do since it's such a small. And you said once this is done, we could take it into the field, like in a little cooler or something if we're car camping. Yeah. It'd be all right. All right. Okay, so I don't know if you want to get a shot of that, but it looks like wet sand. That's how you know what you're looking for with a biscuit dough. Okay. Wet yeah. sand. Take her word for it. The camera's not going to pick it up. But now what I'm going to do, because if you start adding the water in the food processor, you know, water and flour makes a paste and it gets all gummy and it, it's going to be a terrible texture for your food. So we're going to add the water super gently, uh, just in a bowl. We're just going to mix it with a fork. It's six tablespoons of water, which is one and a half quarter cups, which is weird. One and a half quarter cups. So <laughs> yeah. a quarter cup and a half a quarter cup? Yeah, exactly. How would they say that on the Food Network? They would say six tablespoons of water. Oh, it's like we're on the Food Network. <laughs> it's the Bushcraft Food Network with screaming okay, babies I'm gonna in the background. Just, um, I don't want to do all of it just in case. And I'm going to mix it with a fork to make sure I don't over mix it and make it gluey. Just a tad more. I'm feeling it to see if it wants to make a dough. It very nearly does. I think we're good. Right. There's maybe half a tablespoon left in here. Okay. Sweet. So now will we roll it out and right. shape it? The uh, flour's all rolled out. And they say that triangles work the best. You don't want to make it too thin your dough, but you want to get some good triangles. I'm curious to know if smaller triangles would work better. Yeah, Should maybe we do smaller a couple? ones. Yeah, do, yeah. See how I'm more or less getting triangles? My wife's in Mensa. Do you see how she figured out she really is? Like, I'm an idiot, but she made triangles out of that. All right, so I think okay, we can ready to go. We can get those in the oil. Let's do it. Okay, guys, we've got our oil up at 375 degrees. That is real important. We've thrown some of these in here, and they are puffing up. 375 allows the temperature to be right, and now we need to flip them over. Let's get those cooking on the other side. These are flying, they look great. Okay, these are looking done, so we'll remove them. Put them over here on this pan and let some of the oil go off. I'm using about two cups of vegetable oil, by the way. I can't remember if I said that. 
Once we get that, we're gonna roll it in a mixture of cinnamon sugar that we've already made. You wanna try that? It's gonna be too hot, you think, for me to touch. So kinda get it in there, mix it up, turn on the other side, mix it up. Oh yeah, oh my goodness. So I'm gonna let those cool down and we're gonna throw two more in so you see how we do it. What were you saying it's best to put them in like? It's best to put them in away from you. So just kind of drop it in so that if it splashes, it splashes out the other direction. All right, we'll let those cook up and then we'll test those ones that we just had going. Basically, Cook these until you can kind of see that the bottom is turning brown, and then flip them. Let those go. You're good. Also, don't uh, put too many in at once because it'll drop the temperature of your oil too much, and then it won't be able to cook them. And then uh -huh. you'll have doughy sopa pias. And nobody wants a doughy sopa pia. <laughs> no one wants a doughy anything. All right, let's give these a shot. Hopefully, it's not too dark. But this one made a great little hole there. So let's take a bite. <clears throat> Good stuff. It's nice and flaky. Um, and we do get a hole in there, but let's try it with honey. Because that's going to put it over the edge. Oh, that hole. That's definitely what you want. <laughs> you can get your honey in there. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> it's really good. It tastes like just like they came out of a restaurant, which is what you want. So, that's awesome. Mm. Hey, even the baby likes it. Mmm, sopa pia? <laughs> yeah, good stuff, huh? Is that yummy? Mmm, sugar. That's gonna come back to bite us. Thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it.